where is it that you are you have the highest conviction because you spoke about real estate you spoke about building uh building materials and real estate of course in that packet you spoke about capex as well and capex driven uh themes so and and api and grants where is the highest conviction the highest conviction is uh, related to the building materials which are used in uh, you know so anything to do with uh, capex uh, capital goods that's where the high highest conviction is you know a lot, lot of capex may seem like it's a domestic theme but maybe you know you're using it for factories which are built for export oriented so whether it's for the pli scheme there are a lot of uh, you know niche engineering good companies also aggressively making india as their export hub you know so companies like uh, you know these bearings uh, companies or really high end uh, engineering uh, kind of companies they are making india as their uh, export hub and uh, you know so even they are going for pretty pretty large uh, large capex so you, either you can bet directly on those uh, you know that theme or you can indirectly bet through the you know the build, building materials so that is our highest conviction next is real estate and its ancillary ancillary place and uh, and then the api cram space which sort of is uh, anti consensus today so you are getting reasonable valuations there you know and then the growth hasn't slowed down i think the there were a couple of quarters where of course because of the you know uh, oil derivatives uh, crude derivatives being the input you know they did face uh, some margin contraction i mean across the board if you look at the that space the margins contracted by 300 to 400 bits during that time and i feel many of those have already passed on the prices and at the same time the input costs have come down you know so next couple of quarters you could see them coming back to normal margins or some even going beyond the normal margins you know because they are not going to take back uh, you know some of the price increases that that they have seen so you could see pretty sharp earnings growth and then slowly the markets will again you know jump into that that kind of boat and uh, you continue you know in that <laughs> same uh, so uh, those are the companies where we are finding high growth opportunities where valuations are, are reasonable and uh, you continue betting on them and you keep looking for you know new emerging themes defense would be one of them you know something else but you got to get really convinced about uh, the long term story of that uh, that uh, you know growth as well as uh, the valuation got it some quick follow ups on all of these please, um, please. Uh, on 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 apis right for example or cramps there's this whole conversation around how uh because uh, currently europe has these issues some of those plants are shutting down some of those uh, buyers are looking for long-term alternate suppliers even if smaller in size as a smaller percentage because they have realized that they don't want to be fully dependent only on one geography which is say for example europe and therefore right. I'm, uh, my question is is there a long term structural opportunity for api players because of what's happening uh, because of what's currently going on between russia and europe yes exactly i mean see there are a couple of things which are important for a customer to consider you know giving the order to an api and most of them would come for long term in nature you know these are long term contracts they come in with so one is of course their efficiency and competence whether they can deliver you know reliably and second is the capacity whether do they have a large enough capacity to deliver the size of order that they are looking for so in india there are not too many players there are only two or three who have both of them where they have consistently and shown and executed uh, you know timely delivery of these and they have also built orders or uh, capacity for the next 3 years so those kind of companies will definitely see a lot of traction I mean, some customers may come in for the short term, but once they experience that, you know, the quality and the cost is way better than what they probably get in uh, Europe or what they, uh, you know, it's pretty comparable to what they get in China. They will stick with them. Uh, but I think uh, over the years, the, the the efficiency of many of our players and the capacity is pretty comparable to the best in the in the globe. 